Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Yakis, and today I'd like to show you the craziest and grooviest of jazz piano ostinatos. This is Keith Jarrett's final impromptu. This improvised piece is a masterpiece of technique and rhythm, and it's great to play it to work the hand independence on the piano. This is a difficult piece which requires a lot of rigor and training, and I will show you how to work it. We will first look at the right hand. We are in F major key. And it's absolutely necessary to use the metronome or the 16th note subdivision to work. We are in 4-4 four, four time signature. And you are going to play this rhythmic pattern to alternating F and C chord. And I use Keith Jarrett's fingering. with the 16th subdivision and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 and 3 and 4 and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 You can play the same thing again with the left hand which plays all quarter notes. You'll see it's good for hand independence. Now let's go to the left hand ostinato. You play the button note F with the 5, G and A with the thumb, and the C with the 2. You move to play D, F, B flat. Another very important thing, do not forget the D. I have seen and heard a lot of pianists trying to replay this piece, and all of them systematically forget the D. This note is very important, it makes the beauty of the piece. So, D, F, B flat, then C, one more the same chord, then you move again to return to the initial position with G, A, and F. So. The left hand plays this ostinato throughout the piece, work slowly, keep the grip flexible, light, try to play it effortlessly with the wave of your hand, breathe quietly, and when you are comfortable, try singing or playing the melody like this. Little by little, try you try to put your right hand I run the two first bar.
The next two measures. When it's okay for you, then gradually increase the speed. I think it takes a long time to get to play it at the original speed. So be patient, rigorous in your work. Another important thing to make this song sound like Keith Jarrett is the use of the pedal. If you watch Keith's live video, you can see that he uses it about four times per bar, and that's the hardest thing to make this song sound good, to have that super legato playing. Finally, to deal with the rhythmic rigor in deep, create your own exercises. For example, play quarter note in your right hand on your left hand ostinato. Then if not then sixteenth not this video has helped you and you enjoyed it if so don't hesitate to like and tell me in the comments do not hesitate to take a tour on my channel and ask me if you want me to make a video on a subject that you want to work on thanks bye bye